Hi everyone. Welcome to Chickadee Yoga. Today we are going to be working on a heart opening class, a vinyasa flow class. So this class is for you if you are putting an intention out into the world or within your own practice, your self practice, to be open, have an open heart to new possibilities and even new challenges. And this class is especially really lovely to reflect on and within during the new year. So right now it's January 2022 and we've just come into this new year. So rather than building up lots of anxieties about to do's and to don'ts and resolutions and all this, we can try to ground ourselves in and meditate on having an open heart for new possibilities and even new challenges that might arise throughout our practice and focusing on stilling the mind and how asking ourselves how can we have an even mind throughout these new possibilities and these new challenges that might arise because that's what yoga is all about stilling the mind having an evenness of mind calming that chatter that's always going on in the mind no matter what comes our way whether it's something positive whether it's something negative right so we'll get into that a little bit today and we can do that through the breath so we'll drop into our breath first and then we'll get into the movement so a few things that we need on hand you can have two blocks towards the top of your mat I really like being super supported in balance poses, even in standing poses. Give yourself that space. Give yourself that support throughout the practice whenever you need it. Maybe have a blanket, a yoga blanket, or any other blanket that you might have around, just for your knees when we're in a tabletop position. And you can have anything else that you'd like, maybe a bolster or an eye pillow for the end of class, whatever you might feel comfortable in your practice using. So you can come to a comfortable seated position, whatever that looks like for you, cross-legged or sitting in Virasana hero's pose on the shins. Maybe remove any jewelry or extra things on the body that might feel a little distracting for you. Maybe put the hair up or let it down, whatever feels best for you and your practice. You can keep your socks on for now if the toes are feeling cold. But we'll take them off before we start moving. So come to your seated, comfortable position. Before you close the eyes, just take a moment to look around your space. Maybe look behind you, over the right shoulder, and then look behind you over the left shoulder. Just notice what is behind you. Notice what's in front of you and to your sides. Notice whatever you might be hearing around you. Maybe there's distractions. That's okay. Just notice the landscape that you're in right now. And then begin to notice your shoulders. Remember, we haven't closed our eyes just yet or softened them. Maybe the shoulders are really far forward, so coming forward over the hips. Or maybe your shoulders are really far behind your hips. Yeah. So just bring them right over the hips so that our neck is in line with shoulders, in line with ribs, in line with pelvic bone hip points. That way we can drop into the breath with a little more ease. You can begin to soften the gaze or maybe close the eyes completely and press down through the feet, through the legs, whatever's touching the floor so that you gain a little bit of space between each vertebra and the spine making you a little bit taller, reaching the crown of the head up towards the ceiling. Palms can be face down if you want a mood of groundedness and stability. Or maybe you want your palms to be face up in a mood of possibility or receptiveness. And just begin to notice your natural rhythm, your natural pace of your breath. 
ask yourself, how is the quality of my breath in this moment? Does it feel stuck in any one place? Or perhaps it feels fluid, flowing through the whole body. Perhaps it feels short and choppy. Just take a note of what it feels like in this moment. No need to change anything. We're just observing, becoming curious about the state of the body and the mind in this moment. Take a few more natural breaths. Allow the space between the eyebrows to soften. Allow the jaw to release, parting the lips slightly, letting the tongue get heavy. We'll begin to move in a diaphragmatic breath, involving the diaphragm, getting really expansive in the front and the back body. You're welcome to keep the hands where they are, on the legs, or bring them on the body, maybe one hand on the heart, one hand on the belly. And we'll breathe in for a count of three, and then we're going to breathe out for a count of five, really extending our exhales, either exhaling out the nose or the mouth, whatever is accessible for you today. So let go of whatever breath you're holding on to right now. And on the inhale through the nose, fill the low belly in the hand, mid belly, upper chest, Exhale out the nose or the mouth for five, four, three, two, one. Let the belly come back to where it was. Breathe into the low belly as it expands for one, two, three. Breathe out five, four, three. Two, one, soften the belly. One more like that. Just a full belly breath in as you expand through the low belly, mid belly, upper chest rises. Exhale for five as the chest softens. Three, two, and one. You're welcome to a Keep engaging through this diaphragmatic breathing. Every breath in, you expand through the front and the back body. And every breath out, just allowing it to breathe back where it was. And I invite you to carry this breath throughout your practice today. Being mindful as your breath, as you move in and out of poses, or even within the poses, allowing the breath to guide our movement. If the breath becomes choppy, or it's really hard to breathe, that's an indicator that we can come out or back out of a pose. So take one more deep breath in like this. And deep breath out. You can keep the gaze soft, or bring the hands down to the legs option to begin to flutter the eyes open from bottom to top and we'll begin to move here so bringing the palms flat onto the legs inhale to tilt your tailbone forward your pubic bone is forward rib cage lift heart lift gaze lift on the exhale round through the spine really scoop out the front of the body chin towards chest Moving in like a cat cow, but it's seated. Inhale, tailbone moves back, pubic bone moves forward. Heart lifts, neck lifts, gaze lifts. Exhale, round through the spine. Really press the shoulder blades back behind you. Just one more like this. Breathe in, tilt forward with the pelvis like a bowl is spilling water. Broaden through the collarbones, look up. Exhale, round, allow the shoulder blades to wrap forward, chin towards chest. 
Breathe in, sit up nice and tall. Come to your neutral spine. And we're gonna walk the right fingertips just off the mat a little bit. So you're on the other opposite uh, uh, portrait mode of your mat. I'm on, kind of on the landscape mode here. So just walk your fingertips off the mat. Reach up through the left arm, breathe in. Make space between each rib, and as you breathe out, you can bend towards the right side of the room. Maybe flatten the palm. Inhale, keep reaching, getting lift between your ribs. Exhale, keep softening that left sitting bone onto the mat or the blanket. One more final breath in. Maybe the heart lifts, maybe the gaze looks up. And exhale, press all the way back up come to a neutral spine. And we'll take it on the opposite side. Walk those left fingertips out a little bit. Inhale, lift through the right arm. Exhale to bend towards the side, left side of the room. Breathe and flatten the palm. Gaze, lift. Exhale, soften your left shoulder down away from the ear. Breathe in here. Keep pressing through your right sitting bone and breathe out. Can you turn and open that lifted right side of your heart a little bit more? Breathe in, breathe out, come all the way back up if you're seated. We'll go through a little rotation in the spine. So breathe in, arms sweep up high. Breathe out as your right hand comes to the left leg. And then your left arm will come right behind you like a second spine, really coming onto your fingertips if you want to gain a little more height and lengthen the spine. Breathe in, find that length, and breathe out. Maybe you stay there or turn and look behind you a little bit more. Breathe in, breathe out. Keep the breath flowing. One more deep breath in. Can you look a little bit more behind you and breathe out? Slowly unwind, come back through center. We'll take it on the other side. Breathe in, arms sweep up high like you're grabbing the sun. And breathe out, twist towards the right. Left hand will come onto your opposite leg. And your right arm is behind you like a second spine. Breathe in, find length in your spine. Breathe out, turn and open the heart space towards the back of the room. Full breath in, full breath out. One more deep breath in, exhale. Slowly unwind, come back through center and we'll come to a tabletop position. So you are welcome to unwrap or unfold rather your blanket you need it underneath your knees for a little cushion or you've had a knee injury in the past this is really nice protecting the knees even if you need a bolster sometimes people need bolsters I invite you to take your socks off at this point if it's available to you and just come to this tabletop position we'll keep the toes tucked today to kind of enliven them wake them up and let's just Stop here for a moment and spread the fingers really wide. Stack your shoulders over your wrists. Tuck the toes back behind you. Look down at your knees. Make sure they're underneath your hips. If this is too much on the wrists, you can always come down to your forearms and your elbows. That's an option. You can also make fists with the hands. Okay, so these are some options. If you have some wrist injuries or just some, some a little discomfort there. Otherwise, spread the fingers, and we'll go into those cat-cows again. So on the inhale, tilt your tailbone, arch your spine, lift your heart, lift your gaze, look up. Exhale, round through the back. Really press the shoulder blades up towards the sky as you press down through the hands. Inhale, tilt the tailbone, broaden the collarbones. Maybe gaze lift up. Exhale, round through the tailbone and chin towards chest. Breathe in, tailbone shines back behind you, heart shines forward. Exhale, round through the back here. And just do about three more here on your own, moving with your breath. Every inhale, you pull forward with the heart. Every exhale, you round down. 
making a little rainbow with the back. And I don't know if I said three breaths, but take three more. Breathing in to come up, breathing out to round down. Follow your breath here. Maybe even close the eyes, moving in an intentional way, going more inward. And from here, after you've completed those three rounds, you can bring the knees a little bit wider than your hips. Yeah, you can keep the toes tucked under. And we're just going to take big pelvic circles. So reach your hips back behind you. And on the inhale, pull them forward, maybe clockwise. And exhale towards the right and down. Breathe in, come forward and up. Breathe out, come down and back. So just allowing the hips to wake up. Inhale, exhale, come back. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more in this direction. Inhale forward. Exhale back. And we'll take it counterclockwise. So breathe in, hips come to the right and forward. Breathe out. They come left and back. Inhale up. Exhale down and back. Two more. Breathe in. Notice any sensations in the hips as you come up. Breathe out, notice anything you feel as you come down and back. Last one here. Breathe in, big revolution with the hips. Breathe out as you complete them. Come back to your tabletop, being gentle here with yourself. You might need some space in front of you if you're in a smaller space like me. Otherwise, you can begin to slowly walk the hands forward and then soften the forehead down to the mat. Just make sure that your, your hips are right over your knees and you can stay like this with the forehead on the mat or a little more intense, you can bring the chin down onto the mat. If you have any neck um, pain or issues in the past, any in the cervical spine, then please just keep the forehead on the mat and breathe in here to the expansion, the opening you might be feeling in the shoulders or the armpits or the chest and breathe out. Maybe sigh it out. Inhale. Expand the ribs. Exhale. Contract. Just one more deep breath in in this puppy pose. Exhale. Press through the hands, look through the heart, and just bring the belly up and onto the mat flat. Now from here, you might want to move that blanket if it's bothering you and making your hips feel uneven. Otherwise, you can keep it there. Now, come onto your forearms and your elbows, keeping them in line with one another. Spread the fingers really wide. Press the tops of the feet into the mat. Really press your pinky, pinky toes, those last little toes, into the mat. And as you're doing this, energetically draw the pubic bone down as you lift your heart up. Breathe in here. Breathe out. Head is in line with the neck, with the shoulders. Inhale. Exhale. You might hear, feel, not hear, but feel your back muscles engaging here, especially in the upper back. One more deep breath in. Keep pressing the pubic bone forward and breathe out. Lower all the way down onto the mat. You could shake your hips from side to side. And then we'll zip the legs together, the inner inseam of your legs here, almost like you have like a mermaid tail or something. And you can keep them down, bring the arms in line with the side body, palms face up, forehead can be down on the mat. We're just going to lift the chest and the head, so press into your feet. And on the inhale, lift the chest, lift the arms, lift the head, gaze is forward, towards the top of the mat. Exhale here to stay. Breathe in, keep engaging the back muscles to lift, breathe out. One more full breath in, full breath out, lower down. 
head. We'll go into full locust in a moment. Just shake your hips from side to side. Option here to interlace the hands or keep them by your side as we had before. So I'm going to interlace the hands just to show you forehead on the ground. When you're ready, inhale, engage the back muscles, engage the legs, lift the legs, lift the heart, lift the arms, press the fists behind you, breathe out to stay. Inhale, exhale. Full breath in, gazes down to not crunch the back of the neck. And exhale, lower through the heart, let it soften onto the mat. You can bring the hands in line with your heart. Separate the feet as wide as your mat. Hug your elbows in towards your ribs, and on the inhale, press through the hands, lift the heart. Come to your version of Cobra Pose. It can be lower than this, it can be higher. Exhale, tabletop, tuck the toes, downward facing dog, lift your hips up. Press through the hands, breathe in. Let the neck get long towards the ground, breathe out. Pedal the foot back and forth, one foot at a time. Inhale and exhale. Beautiful. From here, inhale, right foot rises up into the sky. Hopefully you have more room. And exhale it between your thumbs. You can drop the back knee. Keep the toes tucked or untucked. It's your choice, whatever feels best on your knee. Press through the feet. Inhale, arms sweep forward and all the way up. Exhale here, arms in line with the ears. Keep the hips squared in one line. Pull that right hip back, left hip forward. Breathe in here, breathe out. Low belly pulls up, lower back goes down. One more full breath in. Keep lifting through the side body, making space between the ribs. And exhale, hands together at heart center. Full breath in. Keep lifting through the body, and as you exhale, rotate the body, twist the torso towards the right leg, and hook the elbow on the outside of the right leg. Breathe in here, get long through the spine, and breathe out, open the heart, open the chest. Maybe your gaze looks up and back behind you. Keep engaging the inner thighs towards one another, find your balance, breathe in, Breathe out, keep pressing evenly through that planted right foot. One more full breath in, full breath out. Press through the right foot, inhale, lift up off the hip, arms sweep up. Exhale, hands down to the mat and step back, downward facing dog. Paddling out the feet if you need to and we'll move to the other side. Breathe in, left leg rises high. Breathe out as you sweep it forward between the thumbs. If you need to use your hand to move your foot, that's fine too. Lower the back knee, tucking or untucking those toes. Press down through the feet, engage your inner thighs. Inhale, arms sweep forward and all the way up in line with your ears. Exhale here. Just notice if your ribs are really poking out and draw them back in so they're in line with your hips, yeah? Full breath in, knee is pointing towards that second toe. Full breath out. Inhale, make space between each vertebra. Exhale. Keep pulling that right hip forward, left hip back. One more deep breath in for low lunge on Janayasana. And exhale, hands together at heart center, Anjali Mudra, prayer. Breathe in, find a length in the spine. Find your balance, gazing at one point that's not moving. And exhale, slowly turn, hook that right elbow on the outside of the left knee. Breathe in, lengthen, breathe out. Maybe you twist a little more. Almost using that bottom right elbow to gain a little more in the twist. Full breath in. Can you twist from your thoracic spine, that middle back, full breath out. One more deep breath in, maybe looking up. Exhale here. From here, look down, press through the feet. Inhale, unravel, arms sweep up. Exhale, hands down to the mat, step back, down dog. Beautiful. From here, walk the hands back, 
towards the feet. Fold forward. Your hips can be over the heels here, sitting bones over the heels. You can bend your knees as much as you need to in Uttanasana if you have any lumbar pain. You can grab opposite elbows or maybe interlace your fingers on the back of the skull. Maybe bounce, find a little, a little oscillation from side to side. And then press through your feet, release the hands, maybe take a deep breath through the nose. Let it go up and up. Press through the feet. When you're ready, you can bend through the knees to slowly rise up all the way. Take your time, one vertebra at a time. Come all the way up, adjust any clothing if you need to. Come to Tadasana at the back of your mat. And I'm just going to turn to face you, but please stay at the back of your mat if that's where you're most comfortable here for this moment. We're going to do a little pranayama. It's called Breath of Joy. And in this pranayama, we take three inhales. So they're kind of shorter inhales. And then a huge exhale out the mouth as we fold forward. So I'll demonstrate for you and then we can do it three times together. If you have high blood pressure or even a history of vertigo or dizziness, please just don't do this pose or this breath work, this pranayama, because it can, it can make some people dizzy. Not always, but it can. So you're welcome to try it. But if you have this history and you know this about yourself, then honor your body and where you're at. And you can simply do diaphragmatic breathing as we're going through this breath of joy. So hands, my palms are going to shine forward. Please place your feet right underneath your hips. And I'm just going to demo first and then we'll do it. I'm going to breathe in three times, one big exhale. Inhale, 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 exhale. Slowly press through the feet, wind all the way up. We'll do it all together three times. And we'll take a nice pause after each time so that we can truly, truly feel grounded and not all up in our heads because sometimes we can feel a little bit like that when we come up. So palms shine forward when you're ready. Inhale, 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 exhale. Press through the feet, rise up slowly, bend through your knees, come all the way up. Palms shine forward, breathe in when you're ready. Good. Slowly, last time. When you're ready, bend the knees. Come up at your own pace. All the way to Tadasana. One last time with this breath of joy. Yeah, breathe in. 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 Hold forward. You can hang here in your Uttanasana. And just be here for a moment. Allow yourself to come back down and feel grounded. This breath of joy can really bring us out of kind of a funky mood. If you ever need to do it, it energizes the body. So, so wonderful to do in the morning or maybe right after lunch. So breath of joy was a gift that was given to me in my own practice. So I hope that maybe it serves you a little bit in the same way. When you're ready, you can walk the hands forward to down dog. And we'll inhale forward for plank pose. One long line of energy. Keep your joints stacked, the shoulders over your wrists. Press down through the hands. Keep your hips low, but not too low. Heels are moving back behind you. Tuck your chin in slightly to keep the crown of the head moving forward here. If this is painful on the wrists, please know that you can come into fists for this plank pose. Breathe in here. Breathe out to stay. Keep pressing through the hands. Allow those shoulder blades to kind of puff up on top of your back. Good. One more deep breath in. Yeah. Firm up through the quads. And as you exhale, you can lower the knees, the chest and the chin all the way down to the mat. Flatten out to the, to the belly and the tops of the feet. Hands in line with the heart. Pin the elbows in towards the ribs. Inhale. Press up. Lift up cobra pose and exhale through tabletop, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. You can slowly begin to 
intentionally, mindfully walk the feet to meet your hands. Take your time here. Once you're there, take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Press through your feet here. Inhale, slowly rise up once more, one vertebra at a time. Come to Tadasana. We'll move through some sun salutations before we wind down towards the ground and release, cool down, and come down to Shavasana. So a little bit of heat, a little bit of a longer sequence for today. Inhale, arms sweep up. Urdhva Hastasana, in line with your ears. Exhale, fold forward from the hips, Uttanasana. Inhale, step your right foot back. Exhale, step your left foot back. Come to downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, forward for plank. And exhale, lower all the way down. Inhale, coming onto the tops of the feet, Cobra, Bhujangasana, lift the heart. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift your hips, down dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. From here, breathe in, right leg rises high towards the sky, and breathe out, knee towards nose, really round through your back, step between the hands. Stay on the ball of that back foot, come onto the fingertips, inhale, reach the spine forward, extending, and exhale, step forward with the left foot. Full breath in, press through the feet, arms sweep up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands at heart center, Anjali Mudra. We'll do it three more times. Breathe in, arms sweep up, Urdhva Hastasana. Breathe out, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, step the left foot back. Exhale, step the right foot back, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, forward for plank. Exhale, lower knees, chest and chin. Inhale, coming onto the tops of the feet. Press yourself up, Cobra Bhujangasana. Exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, left leg rises high into the sky. Exhale, between your thumbs. Breathe and come onto fingertips. Extend your spine and exhale, step forward. Press down through the feet. Inhale, arms sweep up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands at heart center, Anjali Mudra. Two more times. We'll switch it up just a little bit, but mostly the same. Inhale, arms sweep up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, hands to your shins or your thighs, whatever you need to make your spine really long here. Keep the spine moving forward. And on the exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Breathe in, just step the right foot back, breathe out, just step the left foot back, down dog, out of Mugasvanasana. Inhale, forward for plank. Exhale, lowering all the way down. Inhale, Cobra Bhujangasana. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips, down dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. From here, bring your toes, walk them forward about two inches and touch. Inhale, bend through your knees, gaze looks forward between the thumbs, and exhale, float towards the top of the mat softly. Breathe in, hands to your shins, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift, get long through the spine. Exhale, fold. Press through your hands, inhale, arms sweep up high, and exhale, let's float right back down, Uttanasana this time. Inhale, hands into shins, flat back. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Inhale, step left foot back. Exhale, step right foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward for plank. Exhale, lowering all the way down, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra pose, press through the hands, Open through the heart, broaden through the collarbones, and exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. From here, bring the big toes to touch and walk them closer to the face about two inches. Bend through your knees, gaze looks forward, inhale, exhale, float softly. Breathe in, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. Breathe out, fold forward. Press through your feet, inhale, arms sweep all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands at heart center, Anjali Mudra, prayer pose. 
And just soften here. Maybe close your eyes. Press the thumbs into the sternum. Lift your sternum into your thumbs. Notice the quality of the breath in this moment. Not passing any judgment or trying to change it. Notice how the fabric on your shirt feels or the skin perhaps. Notice the bone protecting your heart. Maybe even notice the beat of your own heart. This organ that illuminates the whole body, that activates the soul, that allows us to move this vessel through this life, allows us to experience new possibilities and new challenges. Maybe place one hand on the heart and another hand on top of that hand. Just feel into that space. Imagine the color green for the heart chakra, Anahata. Notice your feet on the ground. You're stable here, you're held here. Thank your heart for all the work it does, pumping blood through your body every day, allowing you to do the things you love and be present for the people you care about, maybe even the people you don't care about as much. We're here on this earth for such a short time. One of my teachers says that we can have all the money in the world, but we cannot buy back one moment of time, no matter how wealthy you are. So let's breathe into this heart space, fill it with air and breathe out. And we'll tap back into that diaphragmatic breathing. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. One more time like that. Breathe in, low belly, mid belly, upper chest expand into the heart. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, and one. From here, you can remove the hands if you haven't already. Take your time. And let's flutter the eyes open from bottom to top. You can toe heel the feet as wide as your mat. And we're going to come into Malasana kind of like a squat. Some people call it yogi squat. You can just call it a squat if you want to. We're going to get into the hips a little bit. So you can bring your hands onto your, your hips or your heart center in Anjali Mudra. Toes are pointed out, a little pigeon toe, right? Heels are in. Breathe and find length in the whole body. And as you breathe out, begin to bend the knees, sitting the sitting bones back behind you. Come all the way inside of your legs, pressing the arms into the legs, legs into the arms. Keep lifting the sternum up high. Breathe in. Can you press evenly through the feet? Breathe out. Can you soften through your face? Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Keep breathing. Keep staying here. I'm just going to turn so you can see this angle too. Full breath in. Full breath out. If the heels aren't all the way down, We'll be here for about five more breaths. So you're welcome to bring a blanket underneath the heels, yeah, and come back into this malasana. So it feels a little more mm, nourishing and supportive. Mm. And take about two more breaths wherever you are, inhaling to lift, coming out of your hips just a little bit. Exhale, one more deep breath in, exhale. Bring the hands down to the mat. Begin to lift your hips up towards the sky and you can sway into one leg and then the other. Bending into the knee and then the other. Just noticing any sensations in the hips, maybe tightness or openness. 
Mm. And breathing into those spaces, giving yourself a moment. And then release to one knee and then the other when you're ready. And we're gonna set ourselves up for a little restorative session. So if you don't have blocks, that's totally fine. You can take a blanket or a thick blanket and fold it. You can even take a bolster if you have a bolster, or you can take um, a pillow, like a thick kind of firm pillow, not a feathery soft down pillow, but a firm one. And you can kind of stack them if you want, bring them into the middle of the mat. If you have a block, I'll tell you in a moment what we're going to do as well. So if you have this bolster, just begin Actually, before you put it in the mat, it's best to come all the way down on your back. Press through your feet that are on the mat, lift the hips, and then you can bring the bolster, maybe the bolster with a blanket, right underneath your sacrum, that low back, and lower the low back all the way down. You can stay like this, arms can be out wide. Your feet can be on the ground if you want for a restorative bridge pose, or maybe the legs want to go in the air giving your feet a little bit of a break. Yeah, and same thing goes for if you have a block. So this is just a little more uh, comfy, I think, for the low back. But if you have a block instead, same thing goes for the blocks. So I'm gonna press through my feet, lift my hips, place the block underneath my sacrum, and then gently place the sacrum down onto the block. You're welcome to stay like this in this restorative bridge or maybe lift the legs up balancing the sacrum on the block hands can be on the body or out by your side maybe try both see what resonates with you and just breathe in here taking about three to five breaths Allowing the nervous system to come back down, the heart rate to come back down. You can take one more full breath in whichever posture you're in at this moment and let it go maybe out the mouth slowly release the legs down feet to the ground cross through the feet remove the block and we'll come to shavasana so however you want to set up the legs can just be out long arms out to the side if you want some props here you can bring a bolster or a pillow underneath your legs or your knees so that you feel really supported here. Especially if you have any knee issues, that's always really nice to put it right, a pillow right underneath the knees. And then walk yourself back all the way onto your back. Palms slope up towards the sky. Breathe in. Breathe out to settle into the mat, settle onto the ground. Feel your stability and support the body, not only in the body, feel the support of the ground underneath you and of gravity, keeping you placed here in this moment. Anything that you need to do after this can wait. Give yourself this moment because not one moment of time can be bought back, no matter how much money we have. And just allow the feet to flop open, heart open. Soften the jaw, soften the space between the eyebrows.
stay here as long as you need to. You can just turn this off any moment you want. But if you're ready, you can take a deep, deep current of breath into the body. And exhale it out. Maybe little movements in the hands and the feet. Maybe touching each finger to your thumbs, allowing the body to move and awaken. And then bending through one knee and the other. And depending on what time of day you're taking this class, maybe come to the right side if it's during the day, our more solar side, active side. Or come to your left side if you're practicing at night for more grounding lunar pose. And when you're ready, you can press through the hand and come all the way up to a simple seated position, however that looks good for you. You can bring your hands to your heart. You can soften the eyes or close them, whatever feels best. We'll just take a deep breath in. Let it go out the mouth. And we'll take an inhale for all, just honoring all of our teachers who have led us here to this point, all of our gurus and those who've led the path to get us right here in this moment where we need to be. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me at Chikvi Yoga. I'm so grateful and honored to share this space, this virtual space with you. If you have any questions, any concerns, please touch base with me, reach out to me. I'm here for you. I hope you have a beautiful day.